Good morning. It is currently 6.45 a.m. on Thursday, January 22nd, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis, and this is Five More Minutes. Uh, so, I feel like I've been super busy lately, and I think that's really just tied to having something scheduled every day for a stretch of days in a row. Um, which is typically something that I don't do. Like, it's one thing to say I plan to have an activity like, oh, I'm going to try to go to the gym this day, I'm going to try to write this day, uh, or I want to watch this TV show on this day. But, for example, Saturday and Sunday I had Aresia. Monday I had my Improv 301 class. <laughs> Tuesday I met up with the potential all-ladies improv group that we're trying to start. And then yesterday, uh, we had our Beyond the Wall season four wrap up podcast uh, thing where it's it's the first Beyond the Wall that we had uh, since, you know, our, our, our beloved fearless leader, P.G. Holyfield uh, died. So I was wondering if that was going to be sad, but instead I think the dominant feeling was just, you know, happy to see uh, Chooch and Viv and Nutty again. So, of course, that uh, that show was also a live Google Hangout, so you can find that uh, via YouTube on the specficmedia.com uh, YouTube channel, and then it will uh, eventually be in both audio and video download formats at specficmedia.com. Um, <laughs> I've got an eager little dog here, but I want to show you guys something. This is Luna's Jaws impression. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, the other thing that happened yesterday um, is that I saw Boyhood. I rented it on Blu-ray from the local Redbox. And uh, Linda's up on my lap because she thinks that I might have more treats on the desk. She is uh, partially correct in the sense that I have this container full of training treats because I'm trying to train her to be less like an oversensitive car alarm when there are noises out in the hallway. Anyway, um, okay, Boyhood, right, uh, so Boyhood, if anyone is not already familiar, is the movie where, uh, Richard Linkletter is the director, he's the same guy who did, like, School of Rock, and Before Midnight, and Before Sunrise, and, um, uh, all of those movies, uh, um, uh, one of my favorites of his actually is Waking Life, which is a weird rotoscoped animation thing about lucid dreaming. Um, anyway, though, he directed this, and the gimmick is that he filmed it over the course of 12 years, following the central character of this kid. What is a loud truck or something outside? I don't know if that shows up on the recording here. But... Uh, at the beginning of the movie, this kid is six years old, but then it follows him and his parents and his sister and various side characters over the course of 12 years, but they, they really filmed it over the course of 12 years. And so we actually see these child, these child actors growing up, you know, so we see this kid when he's six, when he's seven, when he's nine when he's, uh, I'm making up the numbers because they don't really give us the specific dates for most of them, but um, it's interesting not only seeing the actor's age, but also just, you know, the fact that they're building in little things like, you know, just watching Dragon Ball Z when he's a little kid and then playing with the, the Game Boy SP at one point and just seeing sort of the time passing in that way too. And then even the adult actors, uh, his parents are played by Ethan Hawke and Patricia Arquette. And we see them get 12 years older over the course of the movie, too. Um, it's an impressive gimmick 
and I will talk more about the movie when Mike and I do our next Oscar marathon update. But what I will say is, with the gimmick, it's pretty cool, but I think if you take that gimmick away, I it's, it's not a great story. It's kind of by the numbers otherwise. And I can see why that would be because they need to support the gimmick, but yeah, so it's okay, it's interesting, um, wasn't my favorite. Anyway, though, that's more than five minutes, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that you can find all of my stuff at christianaellis.com, including a link to the last night's Beyond the Wall show, um, and uh, I am also at christianaellis on Twitter, um, christianaellis.com is that website, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow for five more minutes.